Hello, it's really great to be with you today and to share what's on my heart, to share my testimony of my miracle. My name is Faluki Campbell. I'm a regional pastor for um, Audacious Church in the north area of Manchester. I want to start with Matthew 9 verses 20 to 22. Just then, a woman who had a subject of bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. You know, this is one of my favourite stories in the Bible. I really identify so much with the long-term nature of this woman's illness. I love her determination, her courage, her tenacity. But most of all, I am challenged by her faith. For 12 years, I suffered from various illnesses. It started in 2009 when I had a brain hemorrhage. I was rushed to hospital and the medical staff prepared my family for the worst. They said I wouldn't make it. But the saints of God were praying for me. And I did make it. I received a miracle. God, in his mercy, brought me through. And there was a few side effects because my brain had been bleeding and um, I had um, warped eyesight and a limp. And so I was recovering in my bed for many months. After about three months, I discovered a lump on my breast. I went to the doctors and it was cancer. I was in shock. The following year, there was a growth on my throat. And then there were fibroids that needed removing, an abnormality in my liver. And then cancer again came back. And a cancer for the third time came back. And cap it all, I got COVID too. But just like the woman in this passage today, I pressed in each and every time to touch Jesus, to take hold of my miracle. I'd like to say I was strong every step of the way. I wasn't. There were periods of time when all I could do was cry, was cry. But I thank God that I surrounded myself with people who would pray for me and encourage me. And I did pray. And I did press in. I read scriptures too, over and over, speaking the word of faith, no matter how I felt. When I had chemotherapy and radiotherapy, my hair dropped out, so it wasn't how I looked like. I built my faith up, listening to sermons and surrounded myself with the saints of God. The last time I had cancer was in 2021, September, October. And the saints of God gathered on a morning prayer and prayed for me. Forty people prayed two days before my surgery. Right, it just gave me a confidence and helped me to go the extra mile, to press in. And I said to myself, I will touch Jesus and I will be healed. Praise God. He did heal me. I received my miracle. I am cancer free continuing to build up my strength as I encounter Jesus at every opportunity. I'm there. And I encourage you that whatever your issue is, just like the woman did, just like I did, bring it to Jesus, press into him, and you will encounter Jesus and receive your miracle. It may not be easy, but as the leper said, why sit we here till we die? They got up and they moved over to press in for their miracle. And God had gone before them. So I encourage you, continue to pray. Continue to press in. Your miracle is on its way. 
Thank you so much for listening to me. God bless you.